Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cowbling, CLDC 2020. We are in a part of the contest where everything is good and I'm feeling great. Mars World here, brought to us by CypherMerd9T. Oh, that's a name we are all familiar with. Well, that's a name I'm familiar with. Oh, we didn't have a menu. All right, hey, check it out. We're here in the desert full of wiggly lines. So, yeah, uh, this is the second 29th place, as I played the other one yesterday. Names are all the the, the, the 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 placements are all like a house in, in quotes. Yeah, it's more of a lean to. I'm aware. I agree. Uh, yeah, so I played your stuff. I tend to love your stuff. So looking forward to loving more of it. Just waiting for our lives to rack up. Just sitting here and then the time's up. All right, I don't know where I'm going, what I'm going to do, or what's going to happen. Don't matter though. Negative equinox, all caps. What does that mean? Negative equinox. Is that not just solstice? <laughs> all right, so we got ourselves some little boppy block tutorial, and I can go in it, and I can put. Well, I can go in this pipe. I can do that. It's a reset pipe. You can put a guy there if you want. Then he's gonna bounce. You're gonna get that stuff. Maybe you just want to put that there, though. There we go. And then you kind of fail. You want to put it in the ginger rail. Maybe if you do that, because it's gonna hit the wall. Yeah. All right. Ginger rail. Here we go. I haven't thought of that in a while. Whoa there, buddy! You be flying. You did it. You figured out how to use your wings. Slash. You're like really hollow compared to. Oh, that guy's having fun. Look at that potobo. I want to be that potobo one day. What's with the green lion? Is it a midpoint? I don't know. Boomerang to the head. That's what I know about the world. Okay. All right. We're riding. It's kind of scary. It's a little halt. Oh! I panicked. I thought it was going to fall in the lava. I did not see, like, any rails there or anything. So I just assume stuff machine. That's why it makes sense to me. Yeah, so this... Oh, you can probably use the boomerang to get up there, actually. Hi, Sawblade. You got wings. I love that. Is that saw... Oh, okay. I... Ah. What is happening with the death music? Now I want to go up there, though, with the boomerang. This guy's there. What an idiot. Destroy him. Then you ride a boomerang and you miss. There you go. Beautifully rendered. I'm just playing bad today, I guess. I'm pretty scary. Here we go. I did it. That's how you get this Dagadon. This is solid. Confirmed. I was wondering. All right, and that's the path you take for the Dagadon. Now you're back on the road, my chum. As in shark food. So that saw blade is pretty mean. This was not worth worth it at all. Like I took me a mushroom to get this mushroom, then I'm just kinda here. Okay, so they're smart. Smart saw. World of internet. Internet of things. That's what it looks like. It's a fire snake. Sound fun. Ooh. Gonna put a plastic block on rails and I'm just gonna follow I'm I don't think the game the level is hard. I had a busy recording thing today. This is like the the last I do, cause you know I want to end on a high note, right, for my day. Uh, but might not be operating at my best. That's why there's a reset pipe. But that like that's fine though. Like it's fine. It's that yeah. I might things like that might happen, you know, and it's, it's okay. Hey, I have a friend. No. Not worth the loss of a... Oh, you're weird. <laughs> you're weird, it's good. Went to you and pet. You know what, I could get a better power up here. It's gonna do that, and then I'm gonna reset. I'm gonna get a better power up that I'm gonna lose immediately. That's a great plan. Ra'u ka'u. That's right, I agree. Check it out, fireball, get out of here. You can't burn a potobo. Okay, a fireball can go through here fine. Don't want to get that on. I mean, I should get it, but it's kind of dangerous. I, don't know, I should get. It. I say that. 
Even though, do I have? I think you should get. If you know it's there, but it's a risky thing. You know what? If I die a lot, I might not. It is kind of a risky threat for a fifth of one up. I feel like re referring to Dagadons as a fifth of a one up is an important thing to do. <laughs> To contextualize the amount of risks some people make you go through to get that. Oh, that was clumsy. I, know, I just, I just, I just cut clumsed. back immediately nothing's changing oh boy okay what I did change was that saw was freaking out all right it'd be cool if I could make it somewhere it would be cool I agree so let's concentrate on doing our jumps well I don't want to but I did it anyway is that a reset that's no, nothing that get on is here I mean I should try and get it I haven't got it I tried and I got it. Whew, okay, I didn't know. So Potabo. Oh, we're gonna put Potabo in that lake somehow or something? Like me. Can I go there? Is this look, I, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Okay, that's solid. I it looked like a pit to me. Oh this is worrisome. What's the goal here? Do that, and it felt on the water for a hot minute. That's pretty good. But like, clearly, I want this. So I'm gonna bring him with me. It'd be a real pain about it. Oh no! Well, it's an easier way to get that, so I don't have to hassle with Mr. Sawblade. And I guess I can get up. There. But like, why would I want to get up there? Why are you springboard? Uh, okay, let's get that mushroom. I think there's a something, but I mean, you can do that, and you can do this, and you can go where? You can go where? Where can you go? Where? Ah, everything's in slow motion! And this might be a return path or not, I don't know where I'm going, or what's happening. Oh no, you use this smiling Jimmy here to get the coin. Whoa, that, I just went right through it. There we go, beautiful. Bonus room full of money and joy. And then you're on top of here. It's like, whoa, it's me, I'm Potabo. Accurate. There's no denying that. So I just did that, which means that this happens. Which means that you get down. And this happens. That's beautiful. There's just a bunch of little road work for you to enjoy in the sun. Oh, patat. This is scary. But it's more predictable than a regular potabo. And then we do a hop. And now we're somewhere indeed. Alright, that happened. Boink flails are always on the market. Accurate. I've never said something that was more through or true in my life. Oh, there's the end. Woo! Aww, I thought I danced around the sock correctly. I didn't! I like this level a lot. Uh, there's a pressure that is put on the player in this level that I really enjoyed. Uh, but in a way that wasn't like the no John level from the other day, you know? I right, look at that, now Ice is smiling at you, that's great. Thanks for smiling at me, Glaciers. I, I, there's, there's just a vibe this level that resonates with me in this particular point in time in a way that I would not necessarily have expected. It was just chill. But it's a pressure chill. That doesn't make any sense, but it's the best way I have to describe it. I I just had a lot of fun. I just had a lot of fun. Little little blocky things here and there. And I, I liked it. Alright, well there's only one 28th place, so we might be back into a regular kind of <laughs> Mama! 28th place by Water Without Any Ice. I had to lean in to really, like, discern what was written there. Because, like, if you just look at all that without any spaces... See, that that doesn't have any spaces either. Put the tape in wrong. Okay. 68 lives. Ooh, mu uh, I'm Castlevania man. 
Get out of here. In Guts Man stage, fighting a Zelda 2 guy, putting the tape in wrong. And there's Kirby music. This is funny. I'm playing Distorted Travesty right now. <laughs> Whoa, boy. Oh, Castlevania man. Your jumps are very good. <laughs> so, uh... Like, as soon as you get to the edge. Well, how, how much edge do I have? Okay, I have... I have an amount of edge, though. I don't know how else to say that. I'm assuming that N is life, is health. Energy? Yeah, you want Castlevania Man for the Guts Man platform. Okay, but I know how the Guts Man the platform. I've played those before. It's all about, you gotta be proactive, not reactive. This is what Gut Man is trying to teach you, because that's what takes guts! It's a Skeller guy. Me. Yeah, you gotta hit him in the knees. Skeletons have bad knees, typically. I lost a lot of health. There's a little- oh shoot. This is like- I have like a projectile, like- Like my- whoa, like a cross or a, a knife. I'm playing this real bad. Alright, so it's always two? Alright. Okay, I managed to get one hidden. <laughs> you know? I had a person say, man! CLDC 2020. Just, you know, it's not that chocolate. Well, here we go. Here's the pure grade, like, Baker's chocolate zone here, right here. You eat that, and then you have to go to the bathroom. Unlike every other kind of food. So how am I gonna deal with that? Can I, uh, I cannot even make it on top of here. It's pretty good. Yeah, uh, okay. I think I'm safe. And I can do a big jump. You can tell I'm playing in a Mega Man level because I'm taking time to destroy all of my enemies in the hope that they drop health. I don't I don't think that's actually gonna happen, but that's the reason why I'm playing the way I am. Alright, so just spam your cord here and the skeleton's gonna die. That's sad. Don't make fun of that. Oh shoot. So that guy's trying to kill me too. That's what everyone's trying to do. Check it out, the sky, it is so blue. Oh, that, I didn't expect that to go up. Okay, you're a rude thing. I thought you would fly underneath me. You're way more complex than that. Oh shoot, this is the guy with a sword. He's just walking. Here we go, we are heading over here. Good old horse. I'm dead though. <laughs> oh jeez. Hey, I restarted here though. Didn't expect that. Thank you. I'm assuming the spike is one hit death. I it's I don't know if it's a Mega Man spike or a Castlevania spike. I'm just assume the worst at all possible moment. That's of not a way to live. Oh no, it is instant death. Even if you're in hurt stun, so consider that in your mantle. The, 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 the music's trying its best to start. All right, give it time. All right, okay. So here though, then this is pretty dangerous. You know, you got, got horse head, and you got flame head plant thing, and then you do the whip, and then you like whoop. But yeah, uh, the level gutsman level is pretty short. Like normally there'd be a big eye here, instead there's a narmos. Look at that! Like he blocks different places and everything. That is super rad. Like yeah, he makes shell noises, but that's fine. No, it's the ling- it's the local language here, you know, it's, it's the localized. Hey, I got a key! I got a key! This level is a joy! Alright, so that thing's gonna lift off, yeah, and then it's gonna cry, like a baby on fire. Those probably would cry a lot. Can you whip a thing? You can't whip a thing. How are you supposed to deal with this? Like, Zelda has a shield to block projectile. Castlevania man, all he has is his very long sock. You know? There's only so much you can do with that. Things are shining! Oh, <laughs> it's the Ninja Gaiden guy that jumps around and does that. Yeah, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Whoa, but Ninja Gaiden, he can like hit these with uh, his sword. Not Castlevania, because he's not using a sword. That's why he's using a sock. Those are different things. M more often than not. Oh boy. Alright, so we'll restart here. That's okay. Like, I might take a damage or two from uh, this man here, but I won't. I will. <laughs> I changed my mind a few times. <laughs> 
I, there's, there's just something about all of this that feel like, yeah, it's all remixes of things we know, but, I don't know, it's still fun. Alright, so now the smart thing to do is you wait for him here, because when he summons his projectiles, you know? Because, I don't know if you've noticed, but his pattern is very, uh, it's his pattern. He loves that. He loves his pattern. I mean, who wouldn't? If you had a great pattern like this, I think you would love using it, too. Oh shoot, but he's very sad on me. Don't see it on the Castlevania, man. So, this is gonna take a little bit, but it's going to happen. Alright, that's what I'm all about today. Grinding out the phosphor. What does that mean? I don't know, that's a good question, but it's what I said, and now we're stuck with it because it got recorded in the recording. Where's the music from? Isn't Ninja Gaia music? It, I, like, to me it sounds a bit like Earthbound, but like, everything has been extremely NES. So that wouldn't make sense. But also, Earthbound kinda, you know, takes inspiration from the generation that came before it. So, you know. I don't, actually. But I know, but I don't. Yeah, good, good call. It's Marble Madness! That's what this game has been remembering of. Me of. Uh, now it all makes sense! Alright. Hit a man in the shins. And you will be victorious! That's why video games were great back in the NES era. Because bosses had very similar patterns. And you just hit them a lot. Ha. <laughs> That's funny. Mario 3 little ending there. That's funny. I like this. I love this. I love this thing. I love this thing. I love this thing. It's great. It's fantastic. I'm happy. I'm just happy. This, this level made me happy. Is it the greatest thing in a universe? I don't know. Technically, the level design is stolen from Capcom. <laughs> Technically. But it doesn't matter. The enemies were remixed, so that changed how you would play it. But also, it made me happy. Like, what else can I ask for, right? Happiness score through the roof. It's the only score that matters to me.